I bought all these things from Ulta because I am picking up a hobby of learning how to do my makeup but not only just doing my makeup I want to do like dramatic like looks that sounds crazy <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Princess Renny here and we're glad to have you. On this channel we talk about faith, we talk about natural hair, we also talk about lifestyle. Today's video is going to be a haul from Ulta Beauty. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but since this quarantine has started, I've been doing a lot of retail therapy and a lot of things that I've been buying that I just felt like I needed around me. Um, <laughs> just because there's a lot of empty space and I just... I needed it around me so I definitely went on a few hauls um, periodically over the time it wasn't all at once but I'm really excited to show you guys all the goodies that I bought at Ulta some of these things I will be giving away to some friends um, so don't be alarmed if you maybe see me with it here in the video and then you know it doesn't exist anymore so <laughs> without further ado um, if this is your first time here don't forget to go ahead just go to the bottom of the screen Tap on my face, subscribe, or scroll down, and you'll see the subscribe button. Um, also, don't forget to click on that bell so that you're always notified whenever I post a new video. I post videos every single week, so we'll be glad to have you. If you are one of my subscribers and you're here for yet another video, welcome back. What's up? Big up yourself. Glad to have you. <laughs> I'm sorry. And this is what we're working with. So, Ulta Beauty had this special where it was like, if you buy, I guess it was like $85 worth of items, you can get um, a free makeup skincare bag, and the bag was huge. Like, it had so many sample size items that I was just like, I need it. Anyways, bought all this stuff with my own money, not sponsored at all. I don't think any of my videos have ever been sponsored, so I don't really need to say this. But anyways... We're just gonna get right into it. I'm really excited for everything that's in here. I bought this um, nail uh, color from Essie. It's the 137, it's Lace Is More. So it's like a neutral color with some hints of glitter in it. And that's like really what I wanted. I wanted like a subtle kind of, you know, nail color that like still had a... All right, so y'all just can't see the glitter. And before I end up getting glitter on my camera lens, we're just gonna move past it. Isn't that amazing? I bought this um, Makeup Revolution London. Um, it's a neon shadow palette because I really. Okay, so well, disclaimer, okay? I bought all these things from Ulta because I am picking up a hobby of learning how to do my makeup, but not only just doing my makeup, I wanna do like dramatic like looks. That sounds crazy. Okay, I want to step out of my comfort zone and like try different colors that I've never ever tried before because um, I take my own pictures, I edit my own pictures, I, you know, everything that has to do with my social media, like I'm the one that's doing it. And because I'm the model and the photographer, I have to do my makeup as well. So um, I have some different colors to show off some of the like outfits that I might have had before but just never wore or, you know, new outfits that I do have. So this is a Makeup Revolution Neon Shadow Palette and it comes with all these different like shades. So like your oranges, your greens, your golden. I'm just really excited to have it. I got the BH Signature Rose Gold um, 13 piece brush set. And this is one of those things that I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but I'm still really excited to have it. And what sold me on this was that this came with its own, like, holder. I was just like, yo, this is amazing. And I'm over here like, maybe I'll keep it for myself. And then, of course, it says BH Cosmetics. Their logo. And then these are all the different brushes. And they all come, like, in their own separate thing, but also in one thing. So the brushes that I have are the, the powder brush. Um, the painted powder, the pointed powder brush. I also have a regular powder brush. I have a flat top brush, which is this one right here. I have 
a small contour brush, puffy blending brush, fluffy blending brush, a tapered blending brush, flat shader brush, dense shader brush, angled shading brush, detailed pencil brush, angled brow brush, uh, angled brow brush, bent fine line, fine liner brush, and brow and lash brush. So like what I really, really, really needed was the brow and lash brush. And for me, I don't wanna just take out items from this, but there's some that I really, really wanna keep. You know what, I might end up just keeping this. Cause it has a brow and um, lash brush, which is really important. But I also wanted one that had the double. So like the brush for your brows and your lashes on one side, and then the stuff for the concealers on the other side. Cause your girl is trying these things, okay? This is really cute. I love the fact that it comes with a box, like the holder. I might end up keeping this for myself. Actually, yeah, most likely I'm gonna keep this for myself. It's mad cute. It's so cute. All right. The next thing that artist artist essentials: the foundation and contour and highlighting, um, blush, liner, and lipstick. So basically, this is what this is. And what I definitely needed was this fan brush. <laughs> but, you know, your girl ended up getting all these other things. So it has the Expert Edge Foundation Brush, the Smudge Liner Brush, the Spotlight Fan Brush, the Lip Smudge Brush, and the Soft Accent Brush. <sighs> this is how they get you, honestly. I feel like this is how a lot of, <laughs> a lot of these, um, companies makeup companies like get you because they're like you need this and you need that and you need this other thing and that other thing so the only thing with this is that it doesn't have the fan brush but then it wouldn't match if I keep this and this so this might be something I give away and it is really cute and then this does have what I really wanted which is the um the double-ended brush so it's the, the brow and the spoolie brush. See that, you see that? It has the angled concealer brush, which I'm guessing is this. It has the pointed shadow brush. It has the detailer. It has the blended um, blending shadow brush and the angled liner brush, which this one has too. So like, this is the angled liner brush, and then all the other like blending stuff, except for the fan, is in that other thing from BH Cosmetics. But again, this doesn't match, but these all look uniform. These are all like random shades. Um, and it does come with its own bag, which is a plus because I do want to stay organized in um, my like makeup stuff. I've been keeping my makeup now in my bathroom. I have like a cabinet thing that the bathroom just comes with. And it's perfect because I would have been, I was keeping my makeup in my bedroom on the um, dresser and I would still take it back and forth to the bathroom, do my makeup, back into the room. Cause my room doesn't have the best lighting but my bathroom has perfect lighting. So I was just like, instead of doing all that and giving myself a headache, why don't I just keep everything there, take down what I need and put back after I'm done. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm still torn on like what I want to keep and what I want to give away. But I'm definitely leaning more to the softer pink color of stuff that I want to keep. And then obviously, although I want this fan brush, everything else here is in my other stuff. So I could just give this one away. It's actually really nice. It's really nice. I'm sorry to the friend who watches this video and already knows they're getting this. But I, I know you're gonna love it. The friend that I'm giving this to, I know you're gonna love it. Um I got this Make Me Brow from Essence. It's an eyebrow gel mascara and it also has filling fibers. And obviously I was sold on it because I'm like, oh, it does have filling fibers. Yo, that's crazy. It has like these random hairs. Let me see if I can show you again. You see those random hairs? See it, right? Like the stuff that's poking out? Yep, it is exactly what you think it is. It's hairs. It's so weird. 
I've never seen that, but it's perfect because I am really bad at doing my eyebrows. <laughs> I used to know how to do it. Like when I first started like this makeup stuff, I was like, yes, let me watch all the videos in the world and I would try all these random stuff. And I would take my time. Like doing my eyebrows would take me like 10 minutes. Now I'm just like, whatever. I just do it. Um, the other thing that I got was a Brow Contour Pro by Benefit. So it's a four-in-one contour pencil. It has the, I don't know what the four-in-one part has to do with anything. Oh, it literally has everything. So it has a lighter brow shade, the deep brow shade, it has an edge definer shade, and the arch highlighter shade. So step one, you start with the lighter shade at the front, so you can do the ombre. You start with the lighter shade and then you end with the deeper shade and then you define and clean the edges and then you highlight beneath the arches wait i gotta open this because like how because it goes from brown black to light and this light looks way too light y'all see this that's kind of scary i wonder how this works <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is genius! Yo. Like back in the days when you had those pencils with all the different colors. It's so smart. And then, I guess you turn it to take out more? I don't know. This is amazing. I'm so, I'm like convinced right now. This is amazing. And like obviously this shade looks like way too light let me i don't want to waste it but let me just try this lighter shade oh you turn it to help the pencil come out i think yeah it's coming out but very very slowly like this is how much came out right so like Yeah, that's really light. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. But anyways, I like this idea. This is genius. No, they're really smart for this. <laughs> I don't know, I'm amazed. I really, really was excited about. It's an Ulta um, beauty bag, and I got to choose everything that I wanted. Um, well, not everything that I wanted, but I got to choose which bag I wanted. And I didn't choose the bag based on the design. I chose the bag based on what came in it. So, there's so much in here. So the first thing that came, okay, let me show you like the amount of craziness. It's like packed to the rim. So the first thing that I took out was this Authentic Beauty Concept. It's a dry shampoo. I do not use dry shampoo, but cute idea. And I don't need any more hair products, trust me. Um, this is a Philosophy Purity um, is Natural 3-in-1 um, Cleanser for face and eyes. Great. More like skincare stuff, which is great. There. So, that's cute. Then I have the Aqua de Goya from Giorgio Armani and it is just this scent this um sample scent which I'm sure is good. I hate these things because it's so hard to take them out oh you push it up to the top I knew that I think no it's not going up to the top what is happening I think I accidentally pressed it yeah, some of it's sprayed. Doesn't smell bad, actually. But yeah, some of it definitely just sprayed out. Ooh, actually, it smells really good. This might be my next perfume after I finish my, um, I have a, um, Givenchy perfume that I got from Influencer for free. Um, so I guess when that's done, because it's a full size. Or this could be my travel perfume. Yeah, it smells really good. I'm so sad. Look at how much is left. This is really sad. You see that? It's like half of the thing is left. Oh, it smells good though. I would most likely get this. It's this 
Mario Badescu Skincare Rose Hips Nourishing Oil for your skin. I have oily skin, so I will be using this moderately just because sometimes my skin gets really dry too. As I have combination skin, not really oily skin. Combination in some areas, so I would be like patting it in every now and then. And let me just take these out of the stuff because it's annoying. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to move this part out the way by making it. Basically, you see how it's dented? You're supposed to just like go in and move it and make it all straight. But y'all probably knew this. I rarely get sample stuff, so this was a fail on my end for sure. So anyways, I just did that to this and the oil came out with no issues. And I love stuff that have this um, beaker, I think you call it, where you squeeze and get it out. What does it smell like? At this point, all I can smell is the Giorgio Armani stuff. It smells like rose, like a flower. Then I got the Colts, the Healthier Sunscreen Face Moisture. Lightly tinted SPF mineral front sunscreen. This is a mini sunscreen, that's cute. So I have this travel size um, thing that I'm gonna have with me moving forward. So all these things that I wanna keep in my to-go purse, with like all like personal items, I'm just gonna put these in one area here and like those things are gonna go directly into that little purse. So I'll always have it, whatever bag I use, I'll always just transfer it over. So it's gonna be convenient. Native Fig Rust Pure Rust Pure Mix Native Fig Replenishing Conditioner in a 30 milliliter fluid ounce. I have semi short hair, but what is this doing for it? I could surprise myself. I don't know. So far, we have a few hair products and a few skincare. This is a Marvis Jasmine Mint. Is this toothpaste? It's a good thing that I can speak un poquito español because <laughs> paso de dientes, yeah, paste the teeth, paste of teeth, toothpaste, whatever. Anyways, so toothpaste, jasmine mint, smells good, smells okay. Oh, I have the full size version of this face gold wash, which is really cool. I have an Exuviance, I'm obviously exaggerating this, Exuviance Advanced Series Lift Voluminizing uh, Concentrate, this better not be for your hair. It says twice a day after cleansing, apply first to areas that will benefit from a more lifted look, especially around cheekbones and lower half of the face, then smooth over the entire face for added hydration benefits. Okay, so the face can be layered under a moisturizer if desired. So this is like something, like another, like a face serum, I'm guessing. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Perfect blend of wax and color. And I have it in a soft brown. I don't remember choosing soft brown. Oh wait, no, I couldn't choose. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Oh, it's so perfect. So I'm definitely thinking of taking this in my travel size bag as well. Just if I ever need to fix my brows. It has a spoolie on one side. And then on the other side, it has the pencil, which is the perfect blend of color and wax, they said. Grand Mascara or Grande Mascara. 97% dramatic lash length. 94% uh, healthier looking lashes. So I'm not even gonna hold you guys. I bought one of those like lash volumizing, lengthening stuff, and I probably use it like twice. I need to remember to use it to be honest. Um, I'll probably just end up using it as part of my skincare moving forward. But once I finish that, then I can really think about this. But it says the brush made with the perfect combination of stiff and flexible bristles to achieve both length and volume. So what I do like about this, which is different than what I bought, is that it seems like it comes with a brush. Ah. 
So it's a mascara that actually helps with volumizing. Smart. The other thing was like a serum. Like it came with the um what is that called? Like you know how okay, you know how LA Girl concealer it has the um is it LA Girl? The, the concealer basically, whatever. Um that it has the little thing like the brush where you squeeze and the stuff comes out. That's really what it is. But instead of squeezing, you turn this and more come out. Like you turn this thing and more of it comes out. And then you just put it directly on there and like you wait until it dries. Cause you can't let it go in your eye. So you let it dry. Then you go to the other one and let it dry. But this seems a lot more reasonable. Smart, pick smart. And now for one of my favorite brands, we have Murad, the Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, this is so perfect, so cute. The Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. I have so many primers now, I feel like I'm never gonna run out now. There was a point in my life when I was just like, I don't have a primer, forget about it. And now, I have so many. Next is the Chill Mode Soothing Cannabis Seed Oil Infused Eye Gels from Petrology. Um, so it has cannabis sativa seed oil, um, a reishi extract, and a rhodiola extract. So place one pair of gels onto clean, dry under eye area for 10 minutes or longer if desired. Discard after use and massage remaining serum into skin. It's not bad. And it's one pair. It's cute. It's kind of this light. Moving right along, we have, oh, the Rust Pure Mix Native Fake Replenishing Shampoo. So it has a friend. It has a friend. So we have these two things, which I'm probably never gonna use. Like they're this size. And then, so it's the size of my thumb, basically. Like from the bottom to the top. And this is like the size of, all right, let me not measure, let me stop measuring. But yeah, this is shampoo. Can you imagine? Um, there's a belief, believe in truth, belief, B-E-L-I-F. Um, moisturizing eye balm, essential eye cream, yes. Provides intense moisture, boosts elasticity, this eye cream has been clinically tested uh, to provide up to 26 hours of moisture and improve skin elasticity. Okay, this is kind of like open or just not closed correctly. Smells good. It's cute. Looks like a good consistency and a good amount of product. Because I don't use that much stuff to make my eye. Anyways, um... This is Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain by Jane Iredale or Iredale. By the way guys, this is a moment of truth. So remember how I told you there's a way to open it? So you slide your hand down, your finger down, and then you push this here. And then you slide your finger down, do the same thing. And then it should be able to slide right out. Yes. It's so cute though. And it's in forever pink. Wow, it's so tiny. I don't like, no, I'm smelling that perfume again. But, ooh, this does smell good. It smells fruity. Wow. It's like you use it on my lips or my cheeks. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I can't even deal. I don't know what to do now. 
And then we have um, a gentle steam eye mask. Rejuvenates, relieves, um, and relaxes. Warming effect lasts 20 minutes. Sorry, warming effects last 10 minutes. Dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. Remove the eye mask pouch. Eye mask from pouch. Eye mask will open to warm up when opened. And then use immediately. You tear it along the perforation. You put it on your eyes. You sleep for like, oh, and it has an ear strap to go around your ears. So it's really cute. And this is what I'll be look, I will be looking like basically is what they're saying. Like this girl right here. And now I have a bag. What? I have a bag. All right. I have a cute makeup bag that I can use for whatever. So we're just going to go ahead and clean up everything here and put everything where they need to go. I can't believe the time it is right now, but we got a lot done. Very, very excited to share with you guys all the fun things that I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the thumbs up on this video if you really like it. Go ahead and share, go ahead and comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, sis? Like, get it together. Share all these deals with your friends and your family or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whoever so they can get you some of these stuff, okay? Thanks again for watching, friends. <laughs> Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye.